Hello my fellow gamers, my name is Peter and welcome to this guide for Deadside, a post-apocalyptic multiplayer survival shooter. In this quick guide you will learn how to hide your items from other players very cheaply and quickly and how crafting works. Let us begin. The main problem new players face in Deadside is how to keep their loot and supplies safe from other players. The two safe zones on the map, where the NPC traders are, only offers limited storage capacity for items. This is not going to be enough, so you will need a safe place to keep the rest of your items. For this you need to set up a land claim, construct a small home and make a storage box where you can stash a lot more items. But beware, unless you add an electronic lock to your home's door, anyone can just walk in and steal your stuff while you're away. This is called base trading and it is a common tactic in that side. This electronic lock can be brought from the traders, but it costs 50,000 credits, which is something fresh players just cannot afford. To solve this problem, I'm going to show you a nice little trick on how to keep your items secure at your home even without a lock. If you already know how crafting works in this game, then this next part will be easy for you. But if you do not have experience with crafting in that side, no worries, we will cover this later in the video in great detail. The point here is just to keep your loot box safe as cheaply and quickly as possible. So for now, we are not going to build a whole house, because this would be too expensive both in terms of time and resources. Instead, we are going to create this small wooden shack with 4 walls, 2 decks suspended on one scaffold with a storage box inside. The necessary tools for all this are an axe, saw, hammer along with 95 nails. The materials needed are 2 sheets of metal and 224 logs, from which you will need to make 8 beams, 8 plywood sheets and 72 planks, and also save your 16 remaining logs. Additionally, you will need separate resources for a land claim. The design is as simple as it gets. I am going to build on top of my large scaffold for convenience sake and so you can more easily see it all. First, place the scaffold in your home climbed area, top it off with a deck and place 3 walls on that deck. Next, place your storage box and all the items you wish to leave at home. Now comes the brilliant part. Step out of the home, place one more wall and our construction project is finished. Welcome to your new home which is now impervious to thieves as there is no door for them to use. But you can always remove one section of the wall to access your stash. When leaving your home, just put up that section of the wall again. You are totally safe doing this because the other players cannot deconstruct any part of your home. Only you can do that. Ingenious, right? Now before we move on to the second part of the video, and if you have been enjoying the content so far, please do not mind me reminding you to hit that like button below and by doing so recommend this video to other players and also subscribe to see more such videos in the future. Alright, so it's time to cover the crafting process in more detail. The first thing that you need to know is that you cannot make logs with your starting knife. Believe me, that was the first thing I tried when I started my first game. For this you need an actual axe to chop logs from trees with thick trunks. I tried it on trees which do not have thick trunks and it doesn't work. You can find an axe in the world by looting towns, buying it from traders or killing another player and taking it from them, like I did here. Also I had hit a jackpot as this player had full gear for combat, crafting and home building. We will cover that part of the gameplay in another video which you can access from the pin up here on the right. After getting that axe and chopping down your first few logs, you will need to find a saw to turn them into wooden planks. A saw can be found, looted or bought, but your best bet is the construction area in this town. Now from these planks you can make beams, plywood and other construction materials using the saw. After that you will need a hammer and some nails to turn these more advanced construction materials into actual building materials like a scaffold, deck or wall. Both the hammer and the nails can be found or bought just like the other tools. Now to construct a player home you will first have to make a land claim item, which requires planks, nails, a hammer and a saw. You can only use this item at specific places to lay a land claim, in which you will construct your home base. More on that in a later video. There are also other things you can craft, for which you will need other tools or consumables. For example, a kind of alcohol like vodka or moonshine can be combined with a rag to create a healing item called a sterilized rag. This won't do much, but it will keep you from dying. Another example is the campfire, which can be crafted by combining a lighter and a log. Rope and some rags are used to make an improvised backpack, while wood planks and nails are used to make a container for items. There are also some large defensive structures you can make for your player home, like a tower and sandbag fortifications. These require materials like sheet metal, which you can find in the world. Quick tip, 
You can always turn unnecessary clothes into rags by using the G key when they are on the ground. And that brings us to the end of this guide. Make sure to check out the cards on the screen for more videos about that side and many other games I have covered on my channel. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!